It's the OCG Fam Show. We've been talking a lot about alkalinity. Today we're going to talk about the meter you need to use to measure it. Hey there, Bob from Oregon. Bob from Oregon, Wisconsin Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. We'll talk about it. Just write down there. Go to the comments. Just type it in. So, alkalinity. We've been talking a lot about it. What do you think about that? I'd like to know in the comments. Uh, are you are you following along with this? Are you working on it at home? Is it something that's not an issue? Is it something that is an issue? Are we explaining it correctly? Because uh, eventually, I've been real busy for Scott, but we're going to have a viewer questions episode. And in that episode, I want to answer any questions about this there may be. But uh, one thing with alkalinity I wanted to talk about today is we've been talking about the meter you use for doing alkalinity. We got those over on OCGFAM.com, OregonsConstantGardener.com, where you can buy them right there along with all the stuff other stuff you need for uh, dealing with your alkalinity. Uh, but Scott and I just talked a little bit about what the meter is, how it works, how you work it, that kind of thing. And I thought it was kind of interesting, especially if you're, you know, uh, following closely on this alkalinity thing. So watch the clip. I'll talk to you after. Patrick Tyke. So, is this alkalinity meter the same as a PPM meter, or are they different things entirely? Feel kind of dumb asking, but it what is what it is. <laughs> Thanks, and I appreciate all the great info about pH issues. About this pH issue. So, no, they're not the same, but, but how, how are they How are they different? Because they kind of feel a little the same. I mean, pH and pH the PPM, is, not pH, PPM. So like a PPM, trunch of the parts per million of all things in the water. Yeah. So anything that's reacting that has a, a yeah. energy is being read in water yeah. through PPM, so yeah. they're not nearly no, the same. No, they're nearly the same, but... Do they work on the same principle? Uh -uh. No. How does the PPM? It's it's like a chemical. It's reading literally salt ions that are bouncing off of each other. So the parts per million the reaction of energy in the water. But so now I haven't used the thing. It's like a more like a chemistry type test. It's not something you dip in there. You do a little solution and then measure that solution, right? It's a chemical reaction. For the alkalinity. Yeah. You, the, for the alkalinity, you take your water, you sh it shines light through it, uh -huh. sets that at your zero point, then you put in this reagent, which basically gathers up and attaches and, and works with the um, carbonates in the water, uh -huh. basically tinting them. Okay. Then you put it back in, the light shines through it and counts the tints. So it's, it's, it's a little bit like a bricks kind of Well, it's very much. If you go into Hannah yeah. and their, their aqua world, uh -huh. they literally have these little egg-shaped meters uh -huh. for every freaking element that you need it for. So magnesium, uh -huh. molybdenum, zinc. Uh -huh. And it's just, it's just they a have a reagent and a light system that can read the parts per million of every single element. Now, we're not in a big hurry to run out and get the magnesium meter. David Miner's going to get the yeah, magnesium uh -huh. meter because uh -huh. he wants to know what other reactions he can see or do. Uh -huh. For us, we're just looking for the fresh water alkalinity so we know what, what kind of charge your water is going to hold when we add nutrition to it or the lack of charge it has, so how do we rebuild it? Okay. And so they're not the same in any, like if somebody has 145 parts per million of calcium or um, alkalinity in their water, that doesn't necessarily, nearly, doesn't necessarily mean that out of the 200 parts per million on the truncheon, that 145 of that is pure alkalinity. And then only 40% or only 40 parts per million is something different. Uh -huh. So that's where I don't understand the reading of it. But if you do, every meter will tell you differently which one's. It is what it is. Like <laughs> that, this meter does that, and you get that number. Yeah. And that number doesn't matter, other than it's an index to tell where you're at. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. What do you think of that? Informative, entertaining, helpful. Uh, let me know about that in the comments, and anything else you might want to talk about. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. Ooh, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.